amazing time. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome to round 3 of the AOR PC GT3 Pro League on Project Cars and we are racing around the Watkins Glen Grand Prix, a track I didn't really know um, until Project Cars came out, so yeah, it was the first time for me and I think also for uh, many other guys on this track and I actually quite enjoy this one although it's quite tight something and it's very very difficult to overtake so yeah qualifying position will be a very very uh, in, yeah important point on this race and also the start and we're switching now on this qualifying lap and as you can see my some of the hut is missing um, I can't see my current uh, lap on which lap I am on in which position I am and uh, the gap also not so that will harm us during uh, during the entire rest I could not change that I don't know why we t uh, anyway we uh, yeah turn one was quite well taken now this full throttle section and that's uh, basically it for the first sector now we're coming to a quite difficult section this double chicane here also quite uh, quite good lap so far this quite fast right hander here breaking for this one sliding a little bit here because we uh, yeah, we turned into second gear, which was a really a fault. I did that on the first laps of the race, and I, yeah, it turned out that, that it was uh, really a mistake to do that. I stopped with that, I think, on lap 3 or something like that. Uh, you will see that later. Breaking here, just at the 300 meter board. Again, second gear. Here up the hill. Next. <laughs> now the last two corners of the lap. Here I do not break. Some of the yes. others did break. I do not. I just flick it into uh, third here. Uh, no, the uh, third and the last one was not that well. That's a one forty three point nine. Which is um, okay, but not uh, yeah, my, uh, not um, the best lap I did. But we are in P2, not far behind Bushy Bob, who took pole position for the first time, massively in third. Nostra, Baroni, Silver Ari, Elita, Indrek, and then we have RT Exalt as well. I think yeah, and Wise Guy, Hamish. And some other guys as well. And hope we do not mess the start up. We are rolling again, and I immediately stopped there. Clicking into neutral and braking. <laughs> Bushy Bob has the same problem as we do. And lights are coming on. And let's go. Yeah, not the really best reaction from us. You can, uh, you can see Nostra has a. Uh, much much better start and silver arrow as well natural flea is on the inside but we can maintain that position so lost two positions from the start not that good but it was better than in spa yeah and i started on the hard compound of tires and i will change on the hard uh, on the hard again uh, when the heart, yeah, when this uh, set of tire is going down, uh, remember I do not know on which lap I will be, so I just have to um, go on the feeling. And we uh, did a too optimistic move here on Silver, and we completely lost the car, and we are hitting massively here, and that caused a, a huge crash, as you can see now behind multiple cars. In, yeah. We're including this one just because I wanted to go side by side with Silver uh, Silver Arrow. I could not make this turn. I completely lost it there. I'm really, really sorry about that after after the race. Also lost some positions. I think we are now behind 
Oh, I don't know, Artie I think on in 7th or 8th position, I don't know. So again, so again uh, we made a huge huge mistake on the first lap of a race, like we did in Spa. But we're not in last, we, uh, uh, we dropped 5 positions from start away. And again, we have to recover from that and come fr coming from a little bit behind, but not that far. Uh, not far, yeah, but not that far. And now we're switching on to lap. Oh, I don't know what it is. I think it's lap five or something like that. And Hamish is in front of us, recognizing that um, because of the red car. And that is, sh uh, yeah, that uh, will be the fastest lap of the race for us so far. A 145.5, which is uh, quite good. Now we fi uh, found our rhythm. And Hamish is overtaking Artie here. And there's another guy uh, who was in the pit, and I don't know if that was. Is there, uh, if that was a lapped car or not. Couldn't recognize that. And we're catching up to these two because they were, were battling. And we're breaking very, very early here for this corner because, yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't want to cause another crash. That one was enough for today. <laughs> really, it was. And again. Very difficult to overtake on this track as Arti, yeah, Arti's car is doing some uh, interesting things. <laughs> so we have to just, um, yeah, wait for a little of mistake and capitalize on that. I think breaking very, very early. We were, we were quite cautious at this stage, and there's a car running wide. And that's, uh, forgot that, didn't got the name, I think it was um, a left car, don't know exactly. Quite well taken. Artie is making a little bit of a mistake, so now we have a run on him in his slipstream. Let's compare to straight line speed, to straight line speed is quite good. And he breaks a little bit later than us, and he can no, he cannot hold his line. He's running wide, backing off here a little bit, going side by side through this corner here. And the so yeah, backs oh, and backs out of it, and we're touching here, you know, touching the curve here. So I was quite afraid to spin at this stage, so I lifted. But, uh, what we yeah. Made I mean uh, we overtook Artie there, and again in P6 we finished in P6 in Spa. So yeah, I think I don't know if that is a lapped car. No, yes, it, it was a lapped car. This blue one, and now a few laps later we are behind. Ooh, who is that? I think it's Nostra. He was struggling a little bit because Hamish overtook him. After Nostra was in P2, I think, after lap 1. I don't know he, if he has some damage or something like that. Could not recognize that. But clearly, clearly having more straight line speed, so I think he has some damage. This, this section here, this, this chicane is very tricky and uh, also quite enjoyable to drive, I think. With this, uh, with these cars, let's see how quick we can overtake him. Breaking quite late here for this one. I mean, maybe a little bit too wide there. Now we want to have a good exit out of this corner here to have a run on him, because the next corner is a quite slow one. Now going on the inside, maybe we can break a little bit later. Yes, we do. Hamish makes a mistake in front of us. 
And yeah, Notra can keep it on the outside. He has now the inside. Breaking it the same amount of time, but he has the inside then and stays in front. Nice battle there. Through this uh yeah, two corners. But we are waiting for the next one and you can see I'm I can take these uh, last two corners quite faster than uh Notra does. Again, we had a better exit, but now we are side by side with him, and now we have the inside line for turn one. We are already quite in front of him. We can get the car turns in nicely, and we are up to uh, yeah P5. Let's see if we can catch Hamish. Oh, yeah, and he makes a mistake there, and I don't know. Now he crashed into the wall. I don't know if he has some damage on his tires or something like that. It, was, it looked really, really weird. And my engineer said, uh, said that I am in P3 now, and that was quite weird as well. I think uh, that means that one car has pitted already. But again, I don't know uh, on which lap we are at the moment. Not even now. <laughs> Let's see what. Nah, that's also a car in front of us there. I think that's a lapped car. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not that sure about that. I think. I think it's a lapped car, and we now and we and that this is lap 22. Let's see later why I know this is lap 22. And I haven't pitted, so yeah, this these tires are very, very, very old. And I, I think at this stage I decided to go in the pit this, this lap because I had some serious vibration as well. And yeah, you can see what happens if you stay too long on the tires. Uh, yeah, the right rear tire completely fucked up. I couldn't go on the spot there for one moment, not even now. Not now, not now. Cannot do anything. <laughs> Car is doing some, uh, yeah, um, some weird things. And actually, uh, what I didn't realize as well that we lead the race. Actually, now Silver Arrow, who pitted already, who pit for a second time, I think, overtook us. Now we are now go and decide to go to pits, of course, because of that. Uh, yeah damage we have on the tire and now we're switching on the hard on part of tires and let's see where we come out yeah now you can see we are on lap 22 now on lap 23 and Artie is behind us I think we are in P4 at the moment and Silver Arrow is leading over Bushy Bob, who is, has a really, really uh, fast lap. And now Artie is overtaking us. So we are in P5 because of that, yeah, stupid. Yeah, we stay too long on these tires. I mean, uh, remember, we overtook Artie on lap, I don't know what it was, I think it was 10 or something like that. And then we pulled out the gap and now he's in front of us. I think, uh, and I, I don't know what the gap is at the moment. Maybe seven seconds, I don't know. Seven, eight seconds. Yeah, and now this one here will be my fastest lap of the race. I think it's three, st uh, three laps after my pit stop. I'm running a little bit wide for turn one. Yeah, no, yeah, because my engineer did not uh, did not tell me uh, what the gap was to RT. I just pushed really, really hard to to catch up to him. And I don't know if this car here in front of us, which we can see, or which we saw on the straight, is his car. I don't know. And as you can see, maybe also from lap two on, I and I never switched into 
second gear again. And that really helped me in the corners to not slide. I'm not having Wisbon on the exit. And we are now having 5 seconds. RT is away from us. Engineer told me that. Now. And yeah, I, I, did, I actually did not know how many laps there were remaining. I thought it, um, yeah, it was like 7 laps or something like that. And maybe we can catch him. Just maybe. We have a little chance on P4 here. This lap was quite good. Maybe losing a little bit in the last uh, couple of corners. But that's a 144.4. I think that's the second last lap of the race. Bushibop has the fastest one. I don't know which tires he was. Again, running a little bit right here for turn one. So, and now we are... Ooh, I don't know. Which lap are we? Did not recognize. And actually we are uh, again setting maybe a new fastest lap, but now Weisko made a mistake there and I <laughs> tapped him from behind. <laughs> and that car in front of Weisko, that is RT now going into this S section, so he's not that far off. We have to go now really fast and... Um, yeah. This guy leaves us room here, he's the lapped car and now we are chasing, hopefully we're chasing down RT. Would be really really awesome. <laughs> One second we are behind our fastest lap on this lap but that's not too major. But that also this, uh, yeah, this thing with white sky that Coasted us uh, about one and a half seconds, which could be quite uh, yeah important when it comes to the end of this race. Yeah, you can see uh, maybe here my engineer. He says three seconds to the leader, and the leader was Arty. And I thought, how the hell I am uh, I am in second? And that was because. Bushy Bob had some really weird damage with his uh, engine. Uh, I, uh, he could not turn up um, the gears and something like that. And Silver Arrow, who pitted um, another time, has got stuck in the pits. And now on, yeah, further on, I think it was only la one lap later or two laps later, we catched up to Artie and yeah, we were gaining like uh, we were gaining quite much on the last couple of laps of him. We, uh, we also have the fresher tires, of course. And as you can see, he's breaking for this corner, and I do not, and we're gaining again room on him. Maybe we have the better exit, and... No, we do not. We do not. Breaking a little bit later, he leaves us a little bit of room, but that, that's not gonna work for now. Yeah, and I mean I'm not that clearly faster than Arty, so it will be very very difficult. We have to really uh, wait for a mistake or something like that, that we can overtake him. Already 7 tenths behind our fastest lap. She's a little bit uh, yeah, gaining time on us here. We're breaking later for this corner, running a little bit deep. And now there's a lapped car in front of us. Hope that will not cause any problems for us. Arty running very deep on this corner here. Quite far away at the moment. Yeah, I think he makes a mistake, but uh, that's really weird. <laughs> I think this car is quite lucky sometimes. Now I, I'm on the inside, and I think on his screen I pushed him. Also, my screen I pushed him, but 
his car was uh, really doing some funny, uh, taking some funny line through this uh, corner, and that was the case that I, uh, yeah, touched him slightly. Now having a little bit of a better exit. And now on the outside, maybe if we can break later. Now we can, but he has the inside for turn one. He can he holds on to that position very well defended by him. It's not much I can do at the moment. Just drive in his uh, yeah dirty air sometimes and hope that he makes a mistake. Almost breaking on the grass. That would have been the end for the, um, from this battle if that happened. And we were quite lucky there. Now we are really, um, yeah, really close touching him here because I could not turn the car out of his uh, out of his uh, slipstream there. But we are now getting almost in every corner. We are really, really, really near, really close to his back, the back of his car. Again, breaking a little bit later, but that's not going to work here on the outside. It's not going to work. No, it's not. Maybe here? No. It's closing the door. Now we're so close, we're actually so close, and again, tapping, uh, tapping him a little bit because he's breaking for the corner, I do not, I think that did not, uh, was not that major, I think, I hope, at least. Now Archie is breaking very late, too late, that's the mistake we were, we were waiting for. That was the mistake we were waiting for. Now we have to, uh, yeah, we have taken the lead of this race, and it's not long to go. Maybe four or five laps, three, four laps. I don't know. The party is not going to run on us. It's going out of the slipstream, I think. But we're breaking quite late. And we're keeping on to that position. Now we just. Have to find our pace from the yeah from the uh, beginning of the stint and pull away, maybe a little bit, just enough that he can attack us. And then on one lap later, we catch up to the lapped car, which is much of the we crashed into. That's you can see his damage from this huge crash we had on lap one. Now going on the outside, hopefully that's gonna work. We have to go. Really fast behind, almost touching there. It's really a great, really straightforward move, uh, forward move. You can see Arti is not that far, far behind. That was really, really important that we could pass matchably immediately. And Arti already passed matchably as well. And let's just hope we do not make another mistake or something like that, or that our tires are—I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Just hoping that it will last until the finish line. I don't know how many laps to go. I really don't know. Now entering the start, finish straight, finish straight. Sorry. <laughs> And that's basically it. We finished the race in P1, our first win uh, in this league. Very, very surprised and very, very astonishing. Uh, very, yeah, very happy with that. Arti only two seconds behind, not from third. Then Elite Indrek, Baroni, Matrably, Wixalt, Wise Guy, Hamish. Maybe we can see the other guys as well. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it was really, really unexpected that win. Um, yeah, of course there were some incidents. Uh, there was this okay, huge, huge incident. I'm really sorry about that again. And but finally we recovered from that, and we 
took the win um, just because yeah of the bad luck of the others and yeah I see you next time at the Nürburgring bye bye